What we have here is the siphon of a gooey duck. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. Someone who comes in from Kansas, they haven't seen anything like that. My God, that is an obscene looking animal. Now here in the Northwest, there's a giant clam called a gooey duck. He's a tricky critter. And you really gotta stick your neck out to get him. The original word gooey duck, or gooey duck really, is a Nisqually Indian word and it means to dig deep. It's referring to the fact that the gooey duck is down three feet and you need to really dig to get it out. Uh, uh, going clam digging uh, may seem strange for somebody who grew up in a kosher home in Brooklyn, New York. It was because dad grew up, you know, you want what you can't have. You know, he's a kosher boy. No clams allowed. It's just all these ways that it sort of permeated our culture. These dolls are my friends. <laughs> go, gooey ducks, go. Through the mud and the sand, let's go. Siphon high, squirt out, swivel all about. Let it all hang out. The oldest one that I've got is 163 years old, so... I think gooey ducks are, are, are very handsome animals, and they're pretty animals. They have character, you know, of their own. Some people, it's amazing to watch, some people just are so grossed out. Well, I don't know, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Yeah, it's a pretty hideous looking creature. What do you get when you cross a gooey duck with an owl? You get a, a, a three foot long muscle that stays up all night. <laughs>